Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. So it's Tuesday, we're on short and simple, and today I thought it would be fun to make some mason jars. So as you can see, I've already done quite a few. Um, there's small ones, which are more the Bally jars, they've got it written on it. Um, there's also a small mason jar. Then there's a large mason jar. So basically all you're going to need for this is some napkins and or tissue paper. Or this one I did here with uh, the tissue paper that comes in, you know, the dressmaking patterns. I've put holes and grommets in mine. Don't need to do that. You can obviously just put a little bit of string or lace or whatever on the top. So it's going to be really short and simple today because obviously we're going to need to let the glue dry. So either that or it's going to be noisy when I get my heat gun out. So this sheet is in my Kofi shop. It's obviously free, but the way Kofi works it has to be in the shop. Now I've printed mine onto thin card just to give them a little bit more stability. Um this is that cheap card that I get in Poundland for those of you in the UK and you'll see this big one I mean I've actually cut it slightly smaller but what I did was I cut the top out that oval top out bring it down make sure you can see it that oval top out of the center I put music paper on the back and I only glued around the edge to enable me to use it as a pocket and put things in so that's another you know little element that you can do if you want to you don't have to but i just thought that was i can't get that one in there that was a bit of there you go that was a bit of fun um and then where's this i just fussy cut this feather as well and pop that in there and put some labels on the front just from my you know my stash of little bits so really 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 simple i've got a huge well this is one of three boxes huge amount of napkins i don't think i use them enough i think it's time to use some so we obviously have to have poppies don't we how can we not have poppies so i'm thinking to get the best out of the poppy we need that to be on the big one I'm just trying to work out because you may not be able to see on camera but I can actually see through the napkin paper to the print underneath so I'm just going to trim all the way up there because I don't obviously want all of my jars to have the same pattern I want them all to be different give me six different little ones so all i'm going to do is glue that on there like that and then when it's dry i'll cut it out so i'm using really cheap this is tesco's own clear pva glue like so get that out of the way now because we are running out of desk space here i've got a jar of clean water here and I'm just going to add some water to it just so it's not quite so thick normally obviously you'd do this in a big jar or whatever rather than this silly little area of palette but there you go I do like to make the life difficult so I'm going to actually glue the page I find it's a bit easier on this big one I'm not doing that area because obviously we're going to put our well what I did last time was I inked it up to look like you know a worn out lid and you do have to be careful not to obviously brush it around too much because otherwise you'll end up splitting your napkin but you've all worked with napkins you know I mean here we go again you've done it before it's not rocket science it's just a slightly different way to use your napkins so then i'm going to set that one there 
and what have I got here? I've got an odd snippet of napkin, but I thought that might be nice coming up the bottom of that jar there. So that way we've got some clear and some patterned. So you can even use up your napkin scraps for this. You don't need to have <clears throat> lots of whole new napkins. Use up those scrappy bits. Tear that bit off, we don't need that, do we? There we go. That's another one done. So it really is short and simple. Um, I've got this lovely spotty one that's got a, a butterfly on. That's a bit fun, isn't it? So you could use that on that one. So just tear off some of the extra like that. Now, if you don't like faffing around like this, you could obviously cut them out before I've got glue all over my finger now before you start gluing to them you don't you know have to do it on the one sheet as I am I just find it easier to cut them out once they've been done so I go there like so and of course this is like watching paint dry isn't it i mean you know how to do this you don't really need to watch me doing it but i'll tell you what we had a bank holiday yesterday here in the uk and i had a lovely days crafting um while hubby was doing some diy and i just feel like really happy doing slow therapeutic stuff that don't thinking about today crazy I know but there you go so another different napkin and we're going to put this one on this one here and you can see the reason part of the reason now that I'm gluing up the jars is because obviously they're on this page of multiples whoops I don't want that there. No, no, no. We want it there. There we go. So. There we go. Really, really simple. Like that. And then pick the whole thing up. Turn it around. And do these two upside down. But we need a little bit more glow. So, a little bit more glue. A little bit more water. That was a lot of water, wasn't it? Did you see that? I have to put more glue in there now. I splodged it. So, what did you all do at the weekend? Did you have family time? Did you go out? can't believe that next weekend Sunday the 4th um, is going to be the last weekend before my eldest grandchild actually goes off to school scary isn't it um, just wow it feels I know I sound like a typical granny now, but it just feels like yesterday that I got a call to go to the hospital and meet him. And now suddenly he's going to school. It's just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pop that down like the others. Whoops, don't glue it to that one, Claire. That's that one. And then the last one, what do I fancy? Oh, what about one of these lovely birds? So if I snip that out, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just snipping bits out of this napkin. It's not much to see, really. 
turn it upside down I want to get the bird right in the middle there so glue him up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away i.e. put you on pause I'm going to dry this off and then I'll come back and we can cut them out and turn them into tags and the like so I'll see you in just a second okay so here we are then these are all nicely dry now so we're simply going to cut them out like that just going to cut them wide at first oh that's a bit wet there I didn't dry that bit properly did I oh maybe we'll leave that one that's because it's double tissue we'll leave those two to dry a bit more obviously didn't dry it as much as I thought I had right, that corner there is still a bit wet oh well never mind so then down here and again you don't really need to see me make them on so maybe we'll just do um, these two so we've got a mason one and a bally one and now you can see it's very easy just to trim round like so and get your pretty napkin mason jars or kilsner jars whatever you're used to referring to them as obviously the difference is just the brand really they are preserving jars um, I mean then whilst they are quite an old thing not many people preserve today you can still find the jars I saw some the other day on a well-known supermarket shelf so there you go there's our first very pretty little mason jar <clears throat> and then I'm going to do this one that we did with the part napkin so now these ones really require quite a lot of fussy cutting because they've got all of this strap now I've got to be honest and saying the ones I did I actually cut the strap off and just went for it like that because well there's not enough hours in my day for that much fussy cutting but obviously you must do what suits you if you enjoy fussy cutting and you want to sit with some peace and cut all that out then obviously you go for it girl that's what you want to do but it wasn't for me so I'm just going around the much more obvious larger area get rid of all them pieces right so we've got our two little jars I am going to find my ink and I do say find because my desk is in such a mess where I did so much crafting yesterday and I cheated and just cleared this little hole <laughs> for you today um, because I want to carry on what I've been doing. Um, those of you that follow me on Instagram will have seen the little sneak peek of the button cards that I was doing yesterday when I was out Saturday. I managed to get my hands on and I'm just gonna darken the lid it's still got the pattern paper on but I'm just gonna darken it up so it stands out a little bit more um, I was lucky enough to get my hands on a rather large tin of vintage buttons which is absolutely awesome we all love buttons 
and I've just spent yesterday afternoon printing out, cutting up and sewing on um, so that I had, is this one a bit dry now, can we do this one as well, mm. it's a little bit, because I wanted to show you how I did that really, well you, it's not rocket science, you don't need me to show you do you, I just cut that oval out there, that's all I did and there's no napkin on the lid of this one, that's all and that's how I got that one to tuck, just put paper on the back, so you don't need me to show you it's really simple um, and then on this one because we've got this broken um, rose because the missing napkin what I want to do is I want to come in and put in some dark ink and I'm going to put in a crack line there because I want it to look like the jar's been broken not broken because if it's broken you wouldn't have it but cracked and that's perhaps why some of that pattern is missing so just get in there get some extra on there and I think it just sort of explains why that's missing and then give yourself nice little hole and hey presto you've got some cutesy little napkin um what are they called tags <laughs> that have been decorated up with napkin so there you go, these are the ones that I did before because they've just got the clips in, lots of different napkins and things there. These are the two that we've just made and these ones I'll carry on with later when they've had a chance to dry out properly because they're still a little bit damp and that's when you're going to damage them. So as always, hope you found some fun, inspiration, a bit of a giggle at me doing craziness. Stay safe. I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye for now.